Um, it's Kyle here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys two sneakers that uh, I personally really like, obviously, because I got them. One of them, they're pretty old. You know, I've had them for like five months, like half a year. Um, and then the other two I just got today from a, the Nike outlet store. So I'm going to start with the old ones because they're dirty and beat up, and I want to save the best for last. So, yeah, here we go. So we're going to start with the first ones. Adidas box, here you go, Adidas. Yeah, okay, Adidas. And, oh, tags on the other side. Okay, bam. You can see it's the shadows. Yeah, you know. Got the knockoff Yeezys, on brand knockoff Yeezys. We out here. Too poor to afford real Yeezys. So I'm just going to pull out one of the shoes now. It's just the, I think this is called the black and white colorway. Here's the back of it. It's got a nice little tab here. I like this tab. Um, size 10. You probably saw that on the box. But, um, yeah. Um, so now I'm going to get into depth a little bit about the shoe. So as you can see, I've had these for five months. I really don't do anything but um, walk in them. That's about it. And I'll play some sports sometimes with my friends in them. But, like, this is kind of, like, all beat up. And one thing that bothers me about these shoes is this touches the ground a lot. Like, if you're a bigger guy like I am, um, your midsole will get really, really dirty really fast because this little part right here, there it is, you can see, it, like, touches the ground. And I don't like that about these shoes. But overall, it's got a decent support because, like, this, I don't really know, like, why it's there, but I know it provides a little bit of support, so that's, that's probably why it's there. But... Yeah, um, it also looks cool. Um, this whole thing right here, I don't get it. I don't understand why there's the act the extra back. Excuse me. I don't understand why there's the extra back. It just doesn't make sense to me. Um, sorry, I was about to put it up, but then I thought of something else to say. Uh, one thing that I really, really like about these shoes is they're like clouds. These are the most comfortable shoes that I own at the moment. We'll see. Give me a, a like a little bit of time to wear my new ones and see if these those beat them. Um, but yeah, so there's the uh, front of it right there. Yeah, that's the Adidas Tubular Shadows, black and white. Also, there's no paper in the box because they're old shoes and I got rid of the paper before I started like liking shoes a lot. Now, uh, on to the second pair. We, you see, okay, fresh paper. You know that means something. Also, Nike. No brand loyalty here. I got a Puma on my chest. I got a 47. Got a 47 cap on. And I got Nike shoes and Adidas shoes. No brand loyalty whatsoever. Love the noise of that paper. Now, uh, you know what? Nah, let me, let me show you the label first. It's on this side. Here we go. Bam. Size 10, Nike Air Presto Essentials. Here we go. Uh, this colorway, uh, the track red colorway. Here we go. Let me just pull it out. Bam. One side. Bam, there's the other side. Okay. I like these shoes a lot. They're comfy, from what I know. I don't know how they stand up, like, long time, but... I wore them for like a few hours after I got them from the, uh, the outlet, and they're nice. I like them a lot. Just the new shoe smell. Okay, but, um, okay, so now what I like about the shoe, I like, um, this whole thing, like where it's like all cut up on the bottom here. This bothers me, like just this part, not, sorry, probably couldn't hear me. This bothers me, not this whole bottom but just this piece right here it's not connected to anything um also I, I've got like pretty wide feet so I don't know if this was the best shoe choice but it was there and I like uh, Prestos so I got some now things I do like um the still factory lace you know you know how it is um I like how like you can see the air here it's like kinda covered and then the P Presto and the Nike thing. They're like covered by the plastic. Um, but they're like still there. So that's cool. But um, I also like the Nike swoosh. 
on the front of the shoe, the toe box. It's really nice. Um, it's got a nice toe box. I wish there was a little bit more, like, big man support here, but I do like that this provides support, you know. Even if it isn't a lot, because you can see it's pretty flimsy, I'm pulling it with one finger, but it's a shoe, so. Um, but yeah, pretty cool shaped, well not cool shaped, but like a decently shaped toe box. Um, again, it's a pretty narrow shoe, and I got them because I like Prestos, but if you're trying to get some shoes for like comfort or something, and you're like, and you have wide feet, or you're a heavier guy, I don't know if I'd go with the Prestos just because they're like a narrow shoe but um now on to my dislikes which I've already kind of started this this whole like puffed up padding here I don't like it because when I wear the shoe my foot pushes up against the laces because I've got big feet and it makes it look like that's all just like nasty up here like I don't even know what it it just looks weird because it like puffs but so yeah, those are my Nike Air Prestos. Um, you guys, let me know down in the comments below um, what your favorite sneaker is, or maybe like what sneaker I should do next. Or if you can see that whole thing back there, that shelf, it's got a bunch of like shoes on it. Not even sneakers, just shoes, and they're not all like the greatest. I don't, I don't like. I'm just starting out my collection. Which is why I'm only showing you two shoes, because two of them are the only ones that are really, like, worthy of showing you. But, yeah, leave a like if you want to see all that. I got some nice slippers, though. Or Dr. Scholl's. He thinks it's comfortable, bro. Yeah, so, um, I hope you liked my, uh, little haul, I guess you could call it. Not really. Just hope you liked my sneakers, um, and I'll see you guys next time.